Shadow Hunters, Angels and Dark Mothers like and welcome to finally a new video on my channel. I am sorry that I haven't uploaded in a long time. Uh, there's been a lot of things that have been demanding my attention and I've been finding a few things difficult right now but we won't be getting into that because let's not just know. And I've been working on trying to help the Save Shadow Hunters movement as much as I possibly can. That's been demanding my attention a lot. So I've been just been busy and I haven't really f had any ideas on what to make a video on and me and Neve haven't had a chance to get together to make a podcast episode yet. But there has been something I've been wanting to talk about and since I haven't made a video in a while I figured that now would be the best time. If this video comes out on the day that I plan it to come out, it'll be coming out on the third anniversary of my coming out, of my coming out of the closet. Um... <sighs> 29th of June is my coming out anniversary, as I call it, so kind of uploading it on this day because it kind of fits with the theme of the video and just thought it would be fun just because not really a reason why. As you guys know, Shadowhunters has been cancelled, but the fandom has been doing everything that it possibly can to bring attention to the show and to prevent its cancellation or to at the very least have it picked up by a different network. This has included raising money for charity, flying a banner over Netflix HQ, and just in general spreading the hashtag Save Shadowhunters, pick up Shadowhunters, and talking about why we love the show and why we think it shouldn't be cancelled. Amongst this madness, Cassandra Clare, our show's number one fan, finally released the cover and the name of the Malik series that she has been working on. This elusive Malik series that has been in the works for a very long time. From what I had heard, it was supposed to come out at the end of 2017, but obviously there must have been delays and stuff like that. Which is understandable. I don't like Cassandra Clare, but I'm not going to like begrudge her like having to delay things or anything like that. But she's finally announced the cover for the book series and the name of the the book, the first book, book one. It's going to be called The Red Scrolls of Magic and I think the series, because she always names the series, I think it's called The Elder Scrolls, book one, and basically it's all Malik centred. I don't know if the entire series is going to be Malik centred, but this book is Malik centred. Why am I making a video about this? Well, you guys know what my opinion on Cassandra Clare is and I have mentioned this book before. I've mentioned it in the podcast with Neve. I've mentioned about the fact that she's been decided all of a sudden to write for Malik and I just want to sort of get my thoughts out properly on why I don't like that she's doing this and why I feel like it's just a money grabbing plot. Plot sounds like friggin that sounds awful it sounds like friggin Guy Fox or something but you know what I mean like a way of just getting more money out of people. I want to add a disclaimer here that Cassandra Clare is free to write whatever she wants. I am not going to say that my opinion is law and that she shouldn't be writing books about whatever she wants because I don't like it, um, it doesn't match up with my opinion, etc, etc. She's free to do whatever she wants, but this is my viewpoint on the entire situation. My main question with any book that Cassandra Clare has written beyond the Mortal Instruments is why does this exist? For seven books is it? Six books? No I think it's seven books. Seven books of the Mortal Instruments series or is it six? I don't know. <laughs> Who cares really? For the amount of books in the Mortal Instruments series we get the story blah 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 we see about the Shadowhunter world and it's not very well written and it's just your basic young adult story. And I'll give her the Infernal Devices, okay? I'll say that as much as I don't like the Infernal Devices, I see the why it was written. It was a way to give insight into Jace's ancestors, the what the Shadowhunter world was like years ago, etc, etc. But anything beyond that just hasn't made sense to me. Why we need to have a book series about Emma Carstairs, I don't know because I've never actually met anyone who actually gave a shit about her in City of Heavenly Fire but apparently Cassandra Clare decided that she warranted another series 
And we've also got the sub series, the Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy. We've also got the Bane Chronicles. And now we're getting the Red Scrolls of Magic. And I just, I just don't see the point because it's all just going over the exact same stuff. For one thing, Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy felt like fan fiction to me, which is amazing since it was written by Cassandra Clare, but it just felt like fan fiction. She even uses the word Malik. She has a character say Malik in Tales of the Shadowhunter Academy, which kind of just completely like took me out of it. And I'll be the first to admit, the two Malik stories in the Bane Chronicles are a guilty pleasure of mine, but I can still recognise the fact that why did they have to be written in a sub-series when all the other relationships got attention in the main books? And this is just something else. This is an extension of that. She has now decided, all of a sudden, I would say that this, this these books were announced last year or the year before, all of a sudden she's decided that she's going to write about Malik. And it seems to have coincided with the popularity of Shadowhunters. You know that show that she hates but still claims that she's the creator of in her Twitter bio? Yeah, that show. It seems to have coincided with the popularity of Shadowhunters and the fact that Malik has blown up again. And obviously I can't say for sure because I'm not going to make any definitive claims because obviously I can get in trouble for that kind of thing and it's just my opinion. It seems that... Cassandra has decided to put this out when Malik is at its peak all of a sudden from the show. And it's a it's an it's a brilliant marketing strategy, I will put it like that, but it just becomes the same issue that we have all had with her is why wasn't this written in the main books? Why do we have to buy extra books to get the Malik relationship to see what Malik, Magnus and Alex's relationship was like as it was developing and at the beginning and the middle as they grew to be close to each other why do we have to buy extra books for that when we were able to see Jason and Clary gr gr growing close Isabel and Simon growing close May and Jordan growing close if uh, I'll probably make a video on that at some point in the main series she has said before that she wasn't able to write Malik in her books because back when the first book was written you weren't allowed to write about gay characters which okay fair enough whatever but it just doesn't make sense to me that she's all of a sudden writing these extra books I feel like it's just a money grabbing scheme that's a better word and I don't know it just rubs me the wrong way um, but I can't control it and I'll probably still read some of the stories, try and do it online, so I'll probably do book reviews on it when it comes out maybe. But that's just my thoughts on it, I just thought I would get like sort of a video out, random thoughts, put them out there. See if you guys agree or what your thoughts on it are and just get a conversation going I guess because my channel's been dead for like a month now. <laughs> So, what are your thoughts on the books? Do you think they're necessary? Do you think they're unnecessary? Do you just think Cassandra Clare can write whatever the fuck she wants? Because, <laughs> fair enough. But let me know what you think down below. And like, comment, and subscribe if you like it. Follow my social medias and bled. Don't if you don't want to be there. I don't want you there if you don't want to be there. And I'll see you next time, Shadowhunters, Angels, and Dark Waters like. And remember, as much as we don't like it, Cassandra Clare does have free reign to write whatever she wants. So we can't really control that. Our opinions are just our opinions. But we can be passionate about our opinions. <laughs> also, hashtag Save Shadowhunters. Keep that going because we're still doing that. Yeah. So I'll see you guys.